Hey guys, I'm not Johnny Kim, and in this video, I'll be explaining how to use Akuma's infamous demon to create an easy to execute 50 50 mix up after your opponent blocks forward hard punch or corner, which ends with your opponent eating a demon if they guess wrong. This video is mostly aimed at beginner Akuma mains that want to use the demon to finish off rounds but find it hard to pull off in those clutch situations. But this may also be useful for both seasoned Akuma mains if you want another demon mix up in your back pocket and non Akuma players that want to learn a bit more about the Akuma matchup, specifically about the demon. Before I get into the details, I want to show what the mix-up would look like if your opponent doesn't jump after blocking the forward hard punch. To show that this isn't just some gimmick and can't be jumped out of after the demon starts, which is how most people get out of the demon, here's another clip where I make the dummy jump after the demon animation starts. Quick note that if you want to test your own demon setups, this is how to make sure your opponent can't just jump out of the way. There are a couple reasons this setup is useful, especially to newer players. The biggest reason is that most players will either opt to take their turn after the forward heart punch is blocked by pressing a button, or they will try to cover an invincible reversal by doing a delayed crouch tech or something similar. Doing the demon after the blocked forward hard punch beats both of these options. Another reason is that the forward hard punch is one of the few normals whose startup and ending frames are not cancelable in the demon, so after it's blocked, you can input the demon really early or really late and still have the demon come out when you want it to. You can even mash and the demon will probably come out, which is great if you have a hard time inputting demon in real matches. Basically, the timing window to input demon and have it come out correctly is very lenient. Another reason this setup is useful is that forward hard punch itself beats delayed throw tech, so if your opponent techs, instead of doing the demon, you can do a full punish into super for more damage than the demon would have done. Another reason is that this setup is incredibly easy to hit and block confirm with only a bit of practice since forward hard punch is such a slow move. If you don't know what hit and block confirming is, I would suggest looking up a tutorial since there are many available for this basic concept and it is incredibly important for your growth as a fighting game player. It is specifically important for this setup because missing a hit confirm and doing demon instead of the regular standing medium kick combo will result in the demon whiffing, leaving you open for a big punish. The final reason has to do with if you think your opponent will try to escape the setup by holding up. The only way to escape the demon in the corner after blocking forward hard punch is to jump before the demon comes out, since all jumps have throw invincibility frame 1. Technically, your opponent can do an invincible reversal after blocking the forward hard punch to get out. But, most people won't do this since Akumas tend to block after the forward hard punch is blocked since the move is minus 2. So, if you read that your opponent will jump after blocking the forward hard punch, you can block, and once you see that your opponent is in the air, then put Demon to catch them as they land, since the landing frames of a jump are punishable. You can actually do an option select Demon by inputting both left and right as you do the Demon input so that the Demon comes out in the correct direction, depending on if your opponent jumps in front of or behind you. Make sure you do the Demon late enough or else your opponent can either do a special move in the air to delay their landing time or your Demon might just whiff completely. If your opponent specifically does a neutral jump or a back jump to try to escape the demon, you can do a nasty corner only punish with back hard punch that does way more damage than the demon. This is pretty hard to do on reaction since you have to consider forward jump as well, which back hard punch doesn't punish as well as the punish in the corner and requires you to have a little bit more than 25% of V trigger time left. Although, it will chunk every character in the game for about 50% if pulled off correctly, so it's something to consider, especially if you have a hard read on your opponent. Important note that your opponent can spend one red bar on V-reversal to avoid the mix-up entirely. All strike-type V-reversals, as of the recording of this video, will punish the forward hard punch, 
and while getting reset to neutral is not the best, denying your opponent V trigger may be worthwhile, especially against characters with strong V triggers like G. However, most evasive type V reversals actually get caught by the demon. The only evasive type V reversals that aren't punished by the demon are Vega and Nashes, in which case the demon actually whiffs and you can get punished. The setup is only consistent in the corner. This setup does not work mid-screen since your opponent can walk back for 2 frames before the demon comes out, which gives them time to jump before the demon reaches them because the demon does not connect on the first 2 active frames. Otherwise, this setup works on every character in the cast except for Blanca. If Blanca blocks the forward hard punch standing, he can jump out of the demon after the demon flashes. He will get hit by the demon as normal if he crouch blocks though, even if he stands up after crouch blocking the forward hard punch. An alternate setup for this minus 2 mixup that does work with screen and on Blanca is sweep into V trigger activation. After a dash, Akuma is left at minus 2 and close enough for demon to connect before your opponent can jump out, even if your opponent walks backwards for 2 frames. I don't recommend this for lower level players, since being able to do dash demon consistently takes a lot of practice, and even Tokido messes it up sometimes. That was a lot of information, so to summarize, here are some tips to apply the setup practically. The hardest part about the setup is getting forward hard punch to land, so you'll want to go for the setup after getting some strong Oki with a knockdown combo using V trigger activation. The best ender is DP while in V trigger 1 because it has great corner carry and the hard knockdown state will most likely make your opponent block. After landing the forward hard punch, you'll want to see if it hit or if it was blocked. How I personally hit slash block confirm the forward hard punch is Right after the forward hard punch lands, pressing the 3 punches button twice, which gives me the first 2 inputs for demon. If I see that the punch was blocked, I finish the rest of the demon input. If I see that it hit, I will do the standing medium kick combo. Theoretically, if you see that the punch was blocked, you would have to guess whether or not your opponent will jump, but I would suggest going for the demon every time, because most people won't know about the setup, so most likely the demon will land. This is kind of the real final reason this setup is great for beginners. Doing the delayed option select demon to catch your opponent jumping is difficult for beginners to do, but for the most part you won't even have to attempt it because the occasion where your opponent does jump after blocking the forward hard punch and you know that they will jump is extremely rare. It only really happens if you try to go for the setup twice in a single set, but getting the opportunity to use the setup twice in a first to two set is very rare. It can happen in first to three sets, but if you're dedicated enough to play tournament sets, you should also spend the time to learn some other stronger demon setups, such as the car cancel demon that was shown in the beginning of this video. That pretty much sums up all there is to know about the setup. If you guys want to look at the character specific notes I took while we're doing research for this video, I'll leave a link in the description to the spreadsheet with my notes in it. Hopefully this setup helps you clutch out some of your matches. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you have suggestions for future videos. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. See you next video.